Lady Mira, wait. Tom, what is it? Guards, they're searching your room. Break it down. Search the place. <gasps> they're coming after us for the murder. The knife is in there. We should have gotten rid of that ages ago. Come on, we can't stay here. What's going on, Tom? Sarah said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, my lady. They're saying you take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. What? That's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, my lady, if soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. You mean... someone's plotting against me? How do you know this? My friend does the guardhouse call. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you... If they catch us... We've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. They won't touch us if we're with her. She'll protect us. Lady Marjorie dismissed me. For good. What? What for? It's not important. Just... We can't count on her. Then we've had it, Lady Mira. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? Being near me is dangerous, Tom. Y you should get as far away as possible. Appreciate the thought, my lady. But we're in this together. But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. Whatever it is, we can't stay here. Things are too dangerous for me here, Tom. I need to get back to Ironrath. There's a collier store by the river gate, on Muddy Way. The owners are like family. You'll be safe. From there, we can get you out of King's Landing. Who's there? Show yourself, or it'll be worse for you. Get to the Colliers. Tell Godwin I sent you. Goodbye, Lady Mira. Oh boy, take him! We've secured the gate, and put archers on the battlement. What footmen we have are armed and ready. Talia and Elena. In the cellars, where they'll be safe. You should be down there too, Alyssa. And let Lud think that I'm afraid. Roderick Forrester! By order of houses Whitehill, Bolton, and Baratheon, I order you to surrender your keep and present yourself for execution. <laughs> he must be shedding in his britches. Coward. Get your men off my land, Whitehill, and I might let you leave with your heart still beating. I can't do that, Roderick. Ramsay Snow said only one of our houses can survive. All that's left to determine is how you will die. Ryan, bring the gift. Uh. No. What's he doing? 
I brought you something to mount on your wall! Come on, lad! Hold it up so your brother can see! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, you should have seen the rest of him! Or what's left after we fed it to the dogs? Oh, sham him! Does he have no limit? The next pike's for you, lud! I'll see to it myself. Oh, he's beginning to bore me. Uh. Take the gate! Are looking to you. Hurry! Get those spires out before they spread to the roofs! Find me when the gate falls! We need to get off this bloody wall! That animal! He's taken everything from us. What's happening out there? Nothing good. This is Roiland's fault. Because of him, the Whitehalls know our numbers, our defenses, the strength of our gate, and they're using Ryan as a human shield. I'd say we have hours, maybe less. This won't be a siege, my lord. It'll be a rout. We need to counterattack. Hit them where it hurts. But how? They'll slaughter us the moment we raise the gate. Then we don't go out the gate. Duncan, the map. Smaller off party could sneak out the postern gate. If we cut through the forest and along this hunting trail, we'd end up here, behind Lud's army. Sounds like a plan to me. We hit their camp, kill some White Hills, and maybe get your brother back in the bargain. My lord, I see why this is appealing. But if you're caught out there, this war is over. They'll kill you. They'll kill Ryan. They'll marry Mira and Talia to second sons from minor houses. It'll be the end of your line. Duncan, this is going to work. I'll make it work. And there's nothing I can say except... Be careful. Amaya, this is it. We're going to war. Are you with me or not? We are with you. Only because we need to keep our swords sharp. Then we leave this shit cold land. We'll either have won or we'll all be. Ah! Arrows! We need arrows! It's up to you to hold the castle, Duncan. You'll not set foot in Ironrath on my watch. You must leave for your own welfare. So you'd cut me loose like some injured horse? Give me a moment. Elena, why aren't you inside? Your master wants to send me away. The Glenmores have cousins in the Riverlands. I've stood by you since the beginning, Roderick. If our nights together meant anything to you, tell him I belong here at Ironra. Tell him I make my own choices. My lady, this is foolishness. Of course you do, Elena. This is your home now. Thank you. Roderick, we have to go now. May the gods be with you today, Roderick. I'll be waiting. The gate won't hold much longer. Then follow me. Let's end this before they do. She's left the key. Search the area! Lady Mira! There she is! Take her! 
What's all this? I'll tell you on our way. You're making a big mistake. D don't you know who this is? Doesn't matter who he is. We're here for you. This is Lord Rickard Morgren, the most powerful ironwood merchant in King's Landing. One word to your superiors, and he'll have you carted off to the wall. Rickard, tell them how far you'd go to protect your friends. Lady Mira, I hope these men aren't bothering you. We have orders from Captain Lucan to- Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mera? The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate! Quick as you can! What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although... You've made short work of one of them, at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was sending cell swords to Ironrath. I couldn't let that happen. <laughs> no need to explain to me. I'm glad he's out of the way. Of course. Now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. Hold up, Lord Morgren. That's my family's Ironwood you're talking about. Well, for now at least, you're right. But probably not for long. You're clever, Mira. Getting that decree from Tyrion's chambers, I still wonder how you managed such a feat. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine, a handmaiden stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. Killing Lannister guards does not go unnoticed. Hmm. You really didn't see it coming. You never should have trusted me. That may have been your only mistake. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mera. But it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. The White Hills don't understand Ironwood. They can't take care of the forests. You may control the trade, but they'll run it into the ground. Only the foresters really know those woods. You're a fool not to see that. If they leave the hills bare, I'll find another forest. I couldn't care less, and neither should you, because you'll be dead. We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Lucan, I fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you are looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. You've got the wrong person. I... I've done nothing wrong. Shut your liar's mouth. It's time you answered for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mira. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick.
forgive my brother's temper. It's said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. That's why you're here, isn't it? I suppose. Josra would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. That he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Few try. And fewer still live to tell about it. I wouldn't have made it alone. I had help from my friend, Cotter, and... and Sylvie. But they were following your lead. You were the one who was sent by House Forrester. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming. And we haven't much time. Gregor Ven Fionn and Bjorn Sager Ven. Svealod Mopre Befastan!
Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong, but you keep looking at him. <sighs> he was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Now his watch has ended. You fought well. For a crow. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. But then, my expectations were low. You fought well yourself. Or at least your bear did. <laughs> His name is Shadow. Killing them I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. Emotion is a weakness. According to her. There's something off about them. I'm not sure what. They've been trained to fight. Nothing else matters but that. They're more my sister's doing. Not mine. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. I need to go back. Are you alright? You don't look well. It's nothing. I'm fine. I should return to the village. Fulgorn Bisonir! Did you not hear me? Fogoren, Suna! <laughs> what? Wait! Fogoren, Bisonir! You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. One day, they'll kill us all if we're not careful. There must be something you can do to stop her. She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Ironrath. To crush our enemies south of the Wall. And avenge his death. You're right. House Forrester needs our help. We could return south. Think of what we could do. I'm sure we could convince Elsera to join us. I know what my father said. The North Grove can never be lost. But he wouldn't want us to die because of it. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling. 